All right, so finally, it's the end of the show. Thank you guys for being part of the show. This is a very interesting topics today, you know. Yeah, it's yeah, it's been nuts. It's been nuts, you know. I, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, if women could see our, all of our nuts right now, they would be frightened. <laughs> they would be Dylan emotionally is scarred. There. Dylan is uh-huh. silent. There. Yeah, for a Dylan? reason. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. For a reason. You, 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 you know, people always say it's, it's the, it's the raisin I get, the raisin from people like, like my parents raised me. You know, I say, yeah, they give me good raisins. You know, the chocolate cover raisins. Oh dear God, this is so. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I dare you, okay, to get my arch enemy on the show. My arch rival. I'm going to say my my enemy. uh, No. Uh, Actually, I did talk to him about that a while back when you asked. And um, he has said that um, his answer was, uh, hell no. Uh, He wants to be able to. He prefers that we coexist, that you all coexist peacefully, which means no speaking to each other. And that if you are to ever mention his name on your show or or any variation of it, um, he will be calling Stephen P. New. What's Stephen P. New? His lawyer. Okay, I want you to call, call him right now. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I want I'm you to surprise him and say you're on, and say you're on D. Shop in the morning. N- no, I'm not doing it because he seriously <laughs> does not want me to. It's going to cause a tiff that I don't need, and he's making it clear he does not want to be part of anything. He he like he wants to have a co ha, he wants to cohabitat peacefully, which basically peacefully. means he doesn't say anything about you on our show. You don't say anything about him on his show, and if you do say his name on on your show or anything like that, he will call his lawyer because he owns the trademark name uh, trademark, and you will be sued for defamation. His exact words. But 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 he, he's on my network. You know he knows that right. Well, yeah, he knows you're an affiliate. And he he's fine with that. But as far as like he's talking about your D Shap show, your Power Half Hour, and all that. Like if you put something Boochcast related on your show, he can't. He has no control over that, and he's aware because yeah. you are an affiliate of the Boochcast. So you are. That's why whenever we say this does not reflect the views of the Boochcast or its affiliates, we're talking about you. So he understands that if you're putting if you're taking a Boochcast link that has both of us on it and putting it on your show, he gets that. He understands that's business. But, but did you know, did you know, did, but did, 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 does he know, does he know that you mentioned him in, in my movie? Yes, I told him that. What did he say? He didn't care because I was saying it and I was promoting an episode of the Boochcast for people to watch that we actually aired. The Halloween Havoc 97 pay-per-view review. He got that. It's business. He said, oh. I can mention his name. You cannot. So um, another thing, too, <clears throat> I want to bring up is that when we go to Atlanta, when I go to Atlanta, I want to do a duet with Vinny Bucci. Because me and Dylan have a lot of collabs, okay? What's some good songs? <laughs> Vinny's just like, oh, God, No. <laughs> No, He's no, not no, looking no. forward to it. I want to do Sweet Caroline with you. Ba, ba, ba. Good times never seem so good. So good. So good. So good. We got to do really? a good duet. Yeah. All right. I'm open to that. Yes. I mean, it's an interesting song because I know we've already done Moni Moni, so I don't want to do that again. No, no. So if we're going to do a song, I'd rather be different. I'd rather be different than a song I already have on my... If I can add it to my karaoke playlist on the YouTube channel, that's fine. Yeah. You know, but, and but, but nothing like... I, I don't think we should we should, we should should do a girl-boy you know song because, of course, you'll be the girl, I'll be the boy. You know? No, that would not happen, first of all. Second of all, I'm not oh, doing girl-boy girl. duets with a dude. What? Okay. I'd be the girl, and then you be the boy, Vinny. What? Perfect. <laughs> He says that I'll be the girl, you be the boy. Yes. I mean, 
I don't know. I think Derek, Derek I would see the problem is River. That's a good idea on paper, but your dad's one of those he, people that's so like deep girl. in character. He asked like a girl sometimes. That's what I'm saying. He'll get so deep into the female character and he's while thinking like he's going to make me uncomfortable as hell. Like, I'm going <laughs> to get <laughs> get tuned on, on the stage. That's what's going to happen. Am I, Dylan, am I right? My dad screams like a girl? No, I do not yes, scream like a girl. Come on, guy. you got to agree. Yeah, he right? kind of – I mean, and he laughs remember like a girl the other too. day with London? You were like – you were laughing like a cartoon character. No, I was literally laughing. Okay. London, London was off the air. Like London did not get why Dylan and Evans filled in for me last week on my show. I explained. Okay, I was doing some. I wasn't totally on vacation. Okay, so so of course, uh, all last week, my friend Danielle Quick filled in for me. Serenity filled in for me. Dylan filled in for me. And then Dylan and Evans filled in for me last Friday. Right? Yeah. So what happened was London says. Well, why are you having people for you if you're totally not on vacation? I explained this way to Dylan and Evans, and afterwards I explained to London. You know how you're Vinnie Bucci, but uh, yeah. you have the you have the off air personality, you have the on air personality. Dylan, yeah. you have the off air personality, the on air personality. Well, my on air personality was going through creative um, creative um, changes. Okay, so. I had to do some changes for my on-air personality, and I had to take off my on-air personality, but I still had to do the back end of the of the work. Does that make sense? I mean, sort of. I mean, yeah. you, you needed time off from the show. I get that. Like, no, but I still had to do the show. But I didn't need time off. But I needed to do some creative working with my character of Derek Shapiro. So you have the. Again, we're playing ourselves, but we're still acting because you. No matter what radio, you're still acting. Am I? Am I right? Am I? Am I right? Uh, to a degree, it uh, depends. Yes. Sometimes there's a persona that you have, and then other times you might be more laid back off the air. But you got to be a certain way on the air to gain people's attention. Like I'm not. Like I try not to be because people. A lot of people think I'm the angry guy all the time, and it's definitely a chunk of my day. But off the air, I try not to be the angry guy as much. But apparently people find it entertaining when I'm cussing them back to the Stone Age. So question, Dylan, do you think that I have the same personality off the air that's on the air? It's pretty much the same. I don't see a difference. Vinny, what about you? Uh, I mean, not really. I mean, it's it's equally as irritating. Um <laughs> <laughs> I think so. It's it's not much of a difference because you do, although I will say this, when you're off the air, the dial comes down a little bit. Yes. But it still there are times where it's like, Derek, stop doing that. And because you try to be on all the time. That's your thing. Well, sometimes it's sometimes it's hard to shut it off sometimes. All right. So Dylan, do you think you have a different personality on the air or off the air? Uh, I would say, um, I would say I'm more, I guess, I guess I'd say I'm more like off air. I would say more introverted. Well, it depends on the people I'm around, but like if I'm around people I'm not familiar with, yeah, I'm more introverted. Like, I feel like if I'm on air, I, I'm like expressing more like my extroverted percentage because I would say this goes for everybody. There's the, it's not like just like a hundred percent you're introvert, you're extrovert. It's like maybe seventy percent it for me, like seventy, seventy-five percent introvert, twenty-five percent, thirty percent extrovert. What so I'd me? say like the extrovert side I guess like express more. What am I mostly? An introvert or extrovert? It you might be the closest thing that we have to a hundred percent extrovert. There is no such thing as an introverted Derek Shapiro. I have never met one. I I like to meet him. I think he would be less. I think I would. I think he would embarrass me less in public. But <laughs> I've not met there, you. And introverted do not go together. It's not you. I, if there was ever a time where you were introverted, I would need to get in a time machine and meet that version of you. 
Because <laughs> literally, you have this desire to be the center of attention wherever you go. Okay, Vinny, do you think do you think you have the same personality off the air and on the air? No. No. I think that off the air, I can be a lot more introverted because um, because like I said, I've worked in retail for 13 years. Yeah. It has caused me to become a hater of humans, as my uh -huh. friends so eloquently put it. So sure. I'm not as sociable. I used to be a person that I was extroverted all the time when I was younger. I used to talk so much, people begged me to shut up. Now I'm so quiet, people beg me to talk. Like I am the quietest person in the room when I'm not performing. If I'm on the air, I'm talking. If I'm on stage doing comedy, I'm talking. If I'm announcing, I'm doing that. But off the air, if there's no camera, if there's no microphone, if there's no camera in front of me or a microphone in front of me, I'm very quiet. I'm definitely an introvert when um, we went to Applebee's, right, Dylan? Yeah, right. You stop. No way. If you're an inch, if you were an introvert at Applebee's, then I'm then I'm the next Hugh Hefner. <laughs> hey! Oh no, not Hugh Hefner. Oh no, I, I, I was thinking about Warren Buffett. I just bought Warren Buffett's one of his companies. I bought um um um, um Berkshire Hathaway. Okay. Yes. <laughs> just call me Derek Buffett. <laughs> yeah, with the with the basement apartment. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm I'm making huge deals. Just call me Derek Trump, okay? No. <laughs> um, but um, anyway, so uh, they're not good deals. I'm the only one that makes good deals. I make great deals, terrific deals. You do not make good deals. I know for a fact. Hey, hey. What, what the, I gotta end? What do you think about this? Uh, this documents in Joe Biden's um, garage with it near his Corvette. <laughs> what is that? I, I heard I about that. What is that? Uh, even I don't all know about? exactly what. I don't know exactly what about it. All I know is, uh, he's probably gonna say that he forgot to turn them in or whatever. Or maybe he thought he was supposed to take them home. He's he's gonna he's gonna try to use that senile thing to get out of it. I don't know what's going on. I think I think him him having a Corvette that he could actually drive is very scary, especially the, the condition he's in now. Yeah, I, I it's like that it's like that episode of South Park where uh, Stan's dad is running around going, "Get off the streets! Get off the streets! Old people meeting, getting out!" Ah, and everybody runs because the old, all the old people are going to be driving at the same time. Oh, good God. And it's just old people crashing into houses and have no idea where they're going. That, and they finally take their driver's license away. <laughs> hey, thank you, guys. Well, uh, I guess we, I think we reached the end of the show. d Shop Money for Friday. Have a great weekend, guys. Um, right. And um, um, maybe we'll, we'll do this again next week. This, this is fun, this new Zoom thing, you know? Isn't it? Well, this is fun because it allows you to go on a little bit longer. Like I've used, I used this once before, um, because I, I was doing, I did a Facebook live with Dr. Collier like months ago. Um, and I had to use StreamYard to help him with it. Dr. Cauliflower? No, Collier, Dr. MJ Collier. He's a, he's a doctor here in Atlanta. Yeah. Um, he, he actually has a, his office is off of Thornton Bridge Road. But he actually makes appearance. He was a client of of our of ours, our social media company, and he he's on the Ricky Smiley Morning Show, and he also on his Facebook page he does like he, he uh, every second and fourth Wednesday of the month he does a Your Health is Important Facebook Live broadcast where people ask him health related questions, and he answers them. So my job was to screen the questions. I was not on air. So I'm off the air. I'm in the little studio corner while he's up there doing his thing. And I would go through the questions and I would put them on the screen for him to read. And then he would answer the questions and explain what they do. But how about a name like Dr. Collie, right? It's Dr. Collie? Collier. C-O-L-L-I-E-R. Dr. M.J. Collier. So how about a name like Dr. Collier? He probably suggests have more cauliflower. No, he doesn't. But actually, he does. What his suggestion is lose the muffin top with lipo drops. That's his thing. 
<laughs> he, he literally has a formula called lipo drops. And if you take it, you can actually lose weight using this thing. Mm -hmm. It's been med it's like medically proven because what it does is it helps um it helps increase your B12 and amino acid intake that a lot that helps curb your that helps you curb your appetite and build your metabolism to help you lose weight. I got I I I got B12 last week. I was playing bingo. B12 bingo. <laughs> and he came so highly recommended. <laughs> hey, this is from coming from Dr. Shop, okay? All right. All right. How much how much longer are you going to torment us with these jokes? That's it. That's the end of the show. I can't do any more now, you know? I mean, I mean I mean I I th I think all the listeners probably went to work already. Yeah, they're all they're all clocking in. It's like, look, we already have our jobs to make us miserable. We don't have time for this. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> all right. Guys, have a great weekend. And uh, we'll see you next time. All right. right. Yeah. Take it easy. All right. There you go. Um, uh, and uh, let's see over here. And. Oh, no. Okay. All right. So um, end of the show. Um, events going on this weekend. D shop in the morning. Um and uh, that's it. Um, oh yeah. So um, oh yeah. Um, that's it. I'm just ending the show today myself here. And uh, that's going today nine o'clock in the morning is the um, what do you call it? Um, the Butchcast Rewind Show. Vinny the Butcher coming to send out to D Show Morning. Derek Shapiro Show will come in and chill too. Also on um, um, DSS Central Radio. You will see come DSS Central Radio. Derek Gordon Center come. On the front page. Nine o'clock is Summer's Alaska, Father Dom and the Metal Twins, Gossip TV. You will see to come. Gossip TV. You will see to come on the front page. 12 o'clock is the Butch Guy Show. DSS DVD Show. Vinny the Butch to come. Um, country Music's. You will see to come. Country Music. You will see to come. As well as DSS Internet Talk Radio. You will see to come. DSS Internet Talk Radio. You will see to come on the front page. And then, of course, um, the Boochcast. No, I said that. The Boochcast. And then 3 p.m. is Sean Hannity um, on the DSS Internet Talk Radio. You will see to come. DSS Internet Talk Radio. You will see to come on the front page. Followed by um, um, 6 p.m. is a Speak Sports Broadcast. Undisputed is at 7.30, but early on the DSSTV.com side of things. 4.30 for the Speak, 6 p.m. for the Undisputed. 7 o'clock, New Gossip News, Gossip News, TV. You'll see the com, Gossip News, TV.com, you'll see the com, the front page. Then, uh, Derek Shapiro, Power Half Hour, 5.30, Woburn Mass, Comcast 22, Verizon 45 hours, RCM 15. Includes Woburn, Winchester, Burlington, Derek Der Der Shapiro, Power Half Hour, 8 p.m. tonight. Uh, Salem, Massachusetts, Comcast Channel 3. And then, of course, at um, 8 o'clock tonight, no, 9 o'clock tonight, Dylan Schneider podcast, Derek Shapiro should have come, Linden Channel 2, DSS TV should have come, Country Music, no, not Country, Vinny the Booster come, DSS Internet Talk Radio, you will come, DSS Internet Talk Radio, you will come, and, and 90, 2020, TV, you will come. Tomorrow, Saturday, uh, 12 o'clock is a real the Proactive Radio Top 40 Countdown Show. Proactive Radio. You will come archives six, no, archives seven. Proactive Radio. Dot go to come archives two. And then, of course, we do have the Derek Shapiro Power Half Hour all over at 11 30. Cox Channel 13, Verizon 32. Derek Shapiro Power Half Hour 12 p.m. North End of a Mass, Comcast 22, Verizon uh, 24. Close North End of a End of a Lone Smith and Wilmington. Uh, 11 um, um, at 12 o'clock, we hear the Proactive Radio Top 40 Countdown Show. Um, part of video. You will come archive seven. Part of video. You will come archives two, and then tomorrow at um, at seven o'clock we have the new gossip news. Gossip Radio TV. You will come archives uh, twenty three, I think, or twenty four. The latest archives for I think twenty three. Gossip Radio TV. You will come archives two. Then tomorrow ten o'clock Rick Ashman Music DSS TV Station. Com on the front page. Then on uh, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday nine o'clock the one of part of video top forty countdown show. Proactive Radio. You will see to come. Proactive Radio. You will see to come on the front page. Then on Sunday, eight o'clock is a Proactive Radio. Oh uh, no, new countdown lists. Proactive Radio. You will see to come. Proactive Radio. You will see to come. Derek Shapiro should have come. Click video sponsors for that. DSS TV should have come. Nineties, two thousand, twenty ten. Some Radio TV. You will see to come. Um, uh, Dance for Radio. You will see to come. Dance for Radio. You will see to come. Gossip Radio TV. You will see to come. Gossip TV. You will see to come. Movie Internet Channel. You will see to come. Movie Internet Channel. You will see to come. As well as Espanol Internet Radio. You will see to come. Ages Classical Music. You will see to come. And um, and.
and uh, click either countdown or it's on the front page. In addition to that, Sunday at um, one thirty is a Derek Shapiro Power Half Hour in Salem, Comcast Channel 3. Then we do have the Derek Shapiro Power Half Hour, 8 o'clock in Woburn, Comcast Radio 2, Verizon 45, Verizon 15, who's Woburn, Winchester, Burlington, 7 o'clock, New Gossip News, GossipRootTV.com, GossipRootTV.com, and Sunday at 8 o'clock is the Buddy Cast Podcast. Derek Shapiro should come leading Channel 1 at DSSTVNation.com on the front page. There you go. Have a great weekend. We'll see you on Monday, Motivational Manic Monday. Take it easy. Bye-bye. And thank you to River, my son today.